We've got someone who anybody who watches football knows is full of joy. Yes, file. I don't know if you have to be on fan, but full on the field, full of joy. I'm talking about five time NFB Pro Bowler J.J. Watt. And he's making the move from American to English football, which we know from uh, Wrexham, which we know from Ted Lasso is where to be. Buying the Burnley, Burnley Football Club does a lot of charity work with Burnley, which is fantastic. And I got to tell you, this is just so exciting. They just got promoted to the Premier League. Uh, we know from Ted Lasso what relegation and promoted. Him. <laughs> JJ, uh, you're a tremendous football player, but it Thank looks you. like that you think maybe the future is soccer. I just think it's such a global sport, and people love it. So, I mean, my wife's a professional soccer player. Right. So, uh, but football worldwide, I mean, the World Cup, everything that surrounds it is such an international sport. And I think the Premier League's done an incredible job here um, with what NBC has done and the rights over here. And fans are really coming into the sport. And I came into the sport in 2011, and I had to try and figure out who's going to be my team, who do I want to support. I think there's a lot of fans in that category right now. They love the Premier League. They're just trying to find their team. And I'm here to tell them okay. Burnley's your team. How about if you got your team to have a game in America? I don't know if the players yes. ever go for it. Or could you ever do some games at yeah. different time zones? Because the games are on at the wrong time. They're on right before you guys. So I don't, I mean, <laughs> we'll just watch in the morning and we'll lead right into you guys. What It'll be Bloody great. Mary at 6 a.m.? Yeah, I mean, why do? not, you know? Um, but no, we are, we are certainly looking in the future to bring games over to America. I mean, I think you see Wrexham uh, next off, this offseason is going to be doing some work here. So Ryan and Rob have done an unbelievable job with Wrexham. And I think that that appetite for soccer over here uh, is only going to bring more football clubs. Do you think there'll be um, sort of a halo echo with MLS? I mean, we, we've talked for years about why all of our kids play soccer, and yet it hasn't cracked right. in the professional sense. But it seems like generationally now would be the time when it would, right? I think it's certainly starting to pick up. I think the NWSL has done an unbelievable job with the women's game. I think our women have been incredible for such a long period of time. It's been a blast to watch them. I think the men's success and making it further along in the World Cup with the World Cup and the Olympics coming to America, that will only help. But, I mean, I think the Premier League is, is the Premier League in the world. Yes. And I think that people love watching the absolute best of the best. And um, that's, there's certainly more and more people getting involved there. Well, I made some references to Wrexham and, 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 yeah. and, of course, Ted Lasso. But these are very popular shows to the point where at one point in Wrexham, they said, What's, I always want to know what Howie's up to. I mean, in other words, that's Howie Roseman. Yeah. They're colloquial about our football. Right. But these two shows have brought it home. I think we just crave it at this point. Oh, people love it. And it's, it's fun to watch. I mean, and it's fun to see people start to understand promotion and relegation. You know, in the past, you had to explain. The bottom three teams drop, the top three teams go up. Now people are starting to ask, oh, so you guys just got promoted. You guys are going up to the Premier League. You're going to play Chelsea, Man City, and Arsenal. And it's, it's a lot of fun to have those conversations and not have to fully explain everything again. Well, well even I remember in, in uh, Ted Lasso, they're going to Liverpool. Yeah. And suddenly I say, okay, yes, let, you, you know, know for that. vacation, let me go to a place that's Liverpool. This has become pop culture. It's really happening. If you have the contracts, you're going to make a lot of money. 100%. Come on, you, vacation in Burnley next time, Jim, all right? <laughs> yes. We may not oh, have absolutely. beaches. We may not, not your normal yachts that you're on, but we will, <laughs> we will put, up to you, yeah. put you up in a real yeah. nice spot. Nice, nice I have a 25-foot uh, Brunswick, you know, I've got to never mind. You, you characterize Boston this Baylor. as um, not the largest in dollar size, but it's a massive emotional investment for you. It sounds like there's room for you to do even more. Yeah, so we're what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring global eyeballs to Burnley. We've been over there. We visited. We're going back on Friday. Um, we love the town. We love, we visited the food bank. We visited their local charity. We visited with government officials. Um, it's a great town. The football club's been around since 1882. It's an old mill town. It's a hardworking town. Um, they face some adversity throughout their lives, and we want to help tell that story and that love and passion that they have for their club. They truly live and die with their club. It's a tribal feeling. Well, it does remind me, I'm from Philadelphia, obviously, you right. know, because you watch the show. The old days were hard scrabble. Philadelphia's a rich team. You have a rich team, the Eagles. But what I look at is this reminds me of Pittsburgh. It yeah. reminds me of Philadelphia. They got left behind. But they have this club, the charity work. It seems like it's the principal source of charity there. Yeah, no, it really is. The club has ingrained itself in that community, and they understand that these people live and die and spend their hard-earned money at the club. So they want to make sure that they give back to the town and do anything that they can to support the same people that are supporting them. And that's kind of something that my wife and I have thought our whole careers is that I have a job, and I'm sitting here today because of NFL fans. I mean, they have given me the life I have. 
and I'm extremely grateful for that. So I'm always trying to give back to them any chance I can. Speaking of the NFL, uh, Jim just got back from hanging out with Jerry Jones. Okay. Um, you had the draft. Were you making the draft picks? <laughs> well, uh, no, he, uh, Howie and I were doing it, but Dave Tepper. You're made insider all the trading, Jim. That's well, what that, you're doing. You're no, insider I, trading. Adam Schefter's a great friend, so the answer is yes. Yeah. All right, we, and by the way, we just had Nielsen revise the viewership of the Super Bowl up a couple million viewers really? to 115 million. I mean, are you still watching NFL action? And of course. Is there, are, do you have business interests there, maybe? I mean, the NFL is obviously an unbelievable entity, and it's been a... It, Look at last weekend. Look at the NFL draft. There is a the commissioner is standing on stage reading names off of a card, and there's 300 plus thousand people in person and millions of people watching at home. What they have built is unbelievable, and I'm a benefactor of it, so I'm very grateful for it. But NFL fans are extremely loyal, and it's, I mean, it's a blast. Well, honestly, I, some of it's just people like you. I mean, I've always you are so fan friendly. You have done so much to be a great promoter of the game. What you did for Houston in oh, times thanks. of ah. severe stress. I mean, that's, I think that's what makes players larger than life. Oh, I think, I think there's so many players in the NFL doing great things, yes. and I don't think we highlight that part enough. No. And we try to, but Let I think, us. yes. I give think us that, some. We'll give it, we'll yes. give it right back if yes. you do it. There's so many guys doing so many positive things, and I, that's why I love when the positive stories come out, because obviously uh, it's easy to shine light on the negative ones, but... There's a lot of guys doing a lot of great things. Well, JJ, it's just a pure joy to have you. Oh. Loved your career. Loved the way you play. You're just a great spokesman for now all sports. I appreciate you guys having me on. I love watching you every morning. My wife and I tune in every morning. So thank you for having ah, me. Very kind. Thank you. Thank it's you. great to see you.